What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. You can see I'm out in it today. In the blazing heat, like it's the hottest day we've had yet this summer. But uh, this is a really cool spot. It's like two minutes from the house, jump in the truck, be here in no time. Or you can ride the golf cart down here or whatever, but it's a little bit of a steep route in here. So usually kind of back the truck up in there, but some awesome 10 scale crawling down that way also over here and then lots of small stuff that we're going to check this beast out on so oh this is going to be a blast did you just see that look at that let's get with it All right guys, so I had a few issues. It was blazing hot. Kept blowing my front drive shaft. Lost some of the audio to the clips, but you can see this Fury Tech system is awesome. It rips and it can also slow crawl when you need it. Just like going down that hill. This thing is ultra smooth for a bouncer build and I'm just loving this thing. So you can see here, my phone was overheating. Just a crazy day. Okay, so y'all can see this. This is my controller setup, right? That's when you know it's hot. All right, guys, so this thing is an absolute blast. I gotta say, I've had this thing sitting for a little bit. I hadn't built it. I just 
wasn't all that gung-ho to get it done. And man, I messed up because <laughs> this thing is an absolute blast. Uh, it's so much fun just finding new lines, like launching up stuff and you can crawl, like it slow crawls good enough to crawl the areas you really need it. Probably gonna change these tires unless I'm running like dirt hills and stuff. I don't think these are real good rock tires, to be honest, they're a little hard. I like them in the really loose stuff, but on the rock you can probably see in the video they struggled, but overall, an absolute blast of this thing. Gonna have to get back out here and do some crawling. I am dying today, like sweat rolling. So maybe one evening. I uh, just had to come out today during the day, middle of the day, hottest time, but it's when I had free time, so I wanted to get it done. So I'm gonna go get an AC, try to edit this video. I'll link everything on this in the description. So much fun. All right guys, so we're gonna talk just a little bit about this. This is the Fury Tech Olympus cage. If you didn't know, these are like a titanium hand welded cage. Really super light for what it is. This thing weighs like 45.5 grams, I believe. They're about a hundred bucks for this cage. Pretty pricey, but the thing is tough. I gotta say, I beat on this thing today and it took every bit of it. There's no way any of my 3D printed ones would have held up to that. So I really put a test on it today and it, it nothing bent or broke or anything. So that's really good. Uh, these took a little flack for the welds and you can see mine is a test unit. It was an early build. They're probably much better now, honestly. So what you would get, I would assume would probably not have spots like that, but even that I'm, it's not horrible. I can live with that. I'm just beating this thing off of rocks, so I'm cool with it. I'll probably powder coat mine eventually. I did these these bead lock uh, wheel rings here, you can see. I'm losing my bead a little bit there. It's fine, I'm gonna change these tires anyways. Just wasn't super thrilled with these tires on here. So probably gonna swap them out. Running the Fury Tech Rocket Man transmission, Godzilla motor, and Lizard Pro ESC with an E Flight 3S battery. This thing ripped. I got the AGF RC servo up front. Plenty servo. That thing is a beast. And just an Emax in the rear because I'm not using those that a whole lot, but I wanted rear steer on the bouncer. And then the rest of it's kind of just thrown together with some parts head laying around. Stock links up here. These were just some extra trills. Um, yeah, this thing is a monster. I do got some weights. I do got the trill widener plus five weights on there. Uh, just a little extra weight down low and I wanted to widen it out a little. So running that, I got the oil field charismas in the rear with uh cr24 fronts the way this is made you can't couldn't really lay the fronts down much or anything so the charismas being longer up front really set this up high and i don't like how it sit so i just did those in the front i might have to adjust my battery tray and stuff my battery moved and so now i'm bottoming out on my tray so i'm probably going to redo that a little bit but Overall, I was pretty happy with how this thing performed with the shocks and everything. Like I said, I'm gonna change the tires out and it's just a lot of fun the way it is. These things like, if you've wanted a Rift or you own a Rift and you are into the 24s, you need one of these. Uh, even if you don't build it like on this chassis, just build you a true bouncer with this motor and transmission and just let it eat. Like it's that Rift experience for the 24s it's so much fun i hope maybe i could get a few more people to build some of these they would be this would be a really fun thing to play around with other people set up some hills maybe and, and just do some climbs but lots of fun overall i took my rift with me today because i was gonna run it a little bit get a few clips with it and i just didn't even want to put this away so 
I just ran this in the entire time I was there. So never even ran the rift. But overall, I, I'm happy with it. I got to say, you know, the price, they're around 100 bucks. They're a little, it's a little high, but there's a lot of work, a lot of time into these, I would say. So uh, for me, this thing is a blast. Whether you build one on this cage or another cage, whatever, just build you one. Lots of fun. You guys let me know what you think. I'll link everything on here in the description. I kind of just got everything tossed in here. There's not much you can do with these cages. Like, I can clean these wires up. I just literally put it together and crammed it in there to run it. So maybe I'll clean that up. Maybe I'll make some kind of interior to hide it. <laughs> it's, uh... I really don't care. It's fun how it is. So you guys let me know what you think. Like I said, I'll link everything in the description that I used and I straightened up the links. So everything should be more organized now and updated. So definitely check out the description. I've got links for everything. Anything you click on there just helps out the channel if you buy through the affiliate links and that sort of thing. So if you guys need anything, let me know. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Click the bell so you get notified of all these videos, and we got a lot of stuff coming up, so stay tuned. Peace.